Hello and welcome to my digital Disney life. Today's video is going to be my top five anime couples. I don't know what OTP means. I think it's one true parent, but I, I don't speak that to couples. <laughs> Number five is Maka Auburn and Soul Evans. They are so cute together, but they don't. The thing about their relationship is they don't necessarily always like are lovey dovey about everything. And like they're, they're, they have those moments where it's like they care for each other or like. Soul does something that makes Maka mad. She like Maka chops him, and it's like, and it's like you know they have that kind of like small relationship going on, but it's not like you never go like oh boy, like to a lot of their moments. That's why they're number five. Number four is Ash and Serena from the new Pokemon uh, X Y X Y Z series. I find their relationship super duper cute, and there are the is the one relationship that Ash has like in the like not a canon or whatever, but like that people made up that I am okay with. Like, it's super cute. Serena's so, like, de uh, devoted to him. Oh, the new episode's coming out soon, the one word. But it's, and it's, like, super cute. You all know what I'm talking about. The, the super cute one's coming out. Can't wait. It's not out yet. I'm going crazy. Number three is TK and Kari um, from Digimon. No, I'm not talking about when they were little. Like, they were cute when they were little, but, like, you know, they're little kids. Like, you don't need to pair them together. But once they got a little bit older, like in the second season, or even Digimon Try, there's a whole episode in Digimon Adventure 2 where TK basically confesses his love for Kari. And she's like, I, I like you too. Like, not like bring him down, but like bringing it back to center. Like, it's okay, you like me and, and everything, but we're, we're still young or whatever. But it, it's it's one of the best episodes of Digimon Adventure 2, arguably for me. And then Digimon Adventure Try, they're bringing it back to the romanticism, like in the in the first one. Like, you see a little bit of it, second one you see a little bit more, it's like, it's coming to fruition. In the canon, I never found out if they got together, so... Right now, they're just still super duper cute. Number two is King and Diane from Seven Deadly Sins. I synchronize with King so much, where you just are head over heels for a girl, and she doesn't even know you exist. Like, she knows who you are, what your name is, what you can do, but she, she doesn't care. And he tries so hard to make her happy. Everyone that like disses her, everyone that every time she's sad tries to make her happy. Every I I, I love their relationship because like it works out to the point of passion where he actually spoiler but just go watch it. He actually goes to save her and is probably the biggest hero I've seen protecting the love of his life. Probably. That's also why they're number two because uh, the next one number one is Kirito and Azuna because that relationship it's all virtual like they fall in love virtually like no they don't have that stupid annoying thing that happens in real life where everyone just like gets together and it's all about being couple and cute they fell in love with each other's personalities granted the game made it a little bit more different because like they had powers and everything but their personalities still sh shine through through the characters and just them together they get married in the game they have a kid in the game like they are the perfect relationship they buy a house they have a like a romantic time like the whole time i was rooting for them and then the end of both thinking see like um i guess it's the first season but like the both of both endings of each game you feel so much for them like because their lives are being ripped apart you feel like want for them to be together and that that is super strong with it's a tv show like and you feel something for a tv character uh sorry ranting that's why they're my top five like that they, they're so good but that's why, uh, that's why they're number one. Let me know who your favorite anime couple is down in the comment section below, please. I would love to read them, and if there's some I don't know or some I missed, um, I watch a lot of anime, but those are my top five. I like all of those because, again, they make me feel, which a TV show should make you do anyway. I didn't count Connie and Steven because it's not technically an anime, so different video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and moment time. Bye.